did Casper being around affect you going into the 23 season? I have bigger things going on than Casper. Do you have any regrets about 2023? Anything you'd have done differently? No. No, I'm in a good place now. Besides, what's to uh, regret about being the story of the season? It's race day and our drivers are all out on the grid performing their final checks before we get underway here at the Bahrain International Circuit. Formula One returns to the desert today on this exceptional 3.36 mile circuit. 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities and it could be a strategic race this one with Sakia notorious for eating up the rear tires. Watch out for drivers managing their rubber at some point during the Grand Prix. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Fernando Alonso, Russell, Perez, Hamilton, Sainz, Stroll, Ocon, Norris, Albon, Oscar Piastri, Jackson, Gasly, Sonoda, Bottas, Butler, Sargent, Joe, Magnussen, De Vries, Magnussen. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? 2023 Bahrain. We're about to get going and I hope you've enjoyed the build-up just as much as we have. The teams are ready on the grid, they're ready in the garages too, but in the commentary box alongside me, are you ready, Ant? Of course I'm ready, Crofty. New season, new challenges for all of them out there, drivers and teams. I love this part of the year, Crofty. This is where it really kicks off and you get to showcase all that hard work you've done through the winter months. Does it pay off? Yeah, that's the question, isn't it? What does the 2023 season have in store for us? We're about to find out. OK, Devon, it's a brand new season. You know that, so let's start it as we mean to go on, OK? OK? Let's get out there, come on.
past you. They're on fresh mediums. Norris is behind you. OK, the gap is less than a second. They're on fresh mediums. The distance to the leader is 8.3 seconds. You've got four laps until your pit window opens. 13 laps to go. ahead. OK, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 1.7 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Control behind. They're on fresh softs. OK, so gap to the leader is 8.7 seconds. The pit window is going to open in three laps time. Pit window opens in three laps. OK, 12 laps to go.
That's P7 now. P7. It's Hamilton ahead. OK, gap to the car ahead is 1.0 seconds. OK, they're on old softs. OK, Science is behind you. And the gap behind us is 1.3 seconds. They're on old mediums. Our gap to first place is 7.3 seconds. Push now with boxing this lap. Traffic ahead, stay alert. Look after these tyres now, and you want to finish the race on this compound. Sergeant ahead. Our gap to the car in front is 1.2 seconds. OK, they're on old softs. Leclerc is behind you. Less than a second separates you. They're on fresh softs. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. And that's eight laps to go.
You're currently in P3. It's the stuff in the head. Okay, gap ahead is 2.5 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Leclerc is behind you. Our gap behind is 3.1 seconds. They're on fresh softs. Okay, gap to leader, 15.6 seconds. Hit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. All right, six laps to go now. Five seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Okay, Russell's behind you now. They're on fresh mediums. Look after these tyres now. You want to finish the race on this compound. Okay, just five laps until the end. Gap to your teammate behind is 16.6 seconds. Five laps of fuel remaining, five laps of fuel left.
first position, front of the pack, and Verstappen's behind. OK, the gap is less than a second. They're on fresh mediums. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Come on, just three laps to go. Three laps. OK, we've got four laps of fuel remaining. No need to worry about the tyre condition for now, everything's looking good. Strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Two laps left. Next time by will be your final lap. So we're leaving our teammate by 23.5 seconds. surprises in the midfield. So where do we start at? Well, I think we have to look at Connor Sport. For me, they've been the biggest surprise so far, and Butler, he's doing fantastically well. The thing is, though, they've got to sustain that over the course of the whole season, and that is easier said than done. Certainly what Kasper Ackerman will be hoping that this season is better than his last. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams, and they're certainly proving themselves.
What a start to the season, Devon. You must be happy with that performance. Yeah, it just comes so naturally to me. I don't really think anything of it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not saying it wasn't impressive. I mean, you seem impressed. I'm, I'm sure others do too, and rightfully so. I'm just saying that it was actually pretty easy for me today. Well, you've had your share of run-ins in the past with teammate Aidan Jackson. Crucial question is, is that behind you? How do you feel about him right now? Yeah, fine. Look, the main difference between me and Aiden is I know how to take a joke. I personally want him to perform at his best. But whenever I try to give him just a little, a little friendly advice, he takes it so personally. I mean, he, he is a very difficult man to have a conversation with. He's all right, you know, he's, he's cool, but uh, he's just he's very serious. Well, Connor Sport surprised everyone by appointing Casper Ackerman as team principal this season. So how do you feel about taking orders from someone that you've got such a history with? Yeah, I'm not sure Casper ever actually warmed to me, but you know what? I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. And maybe, maybe he'll apologize to me, finally, for giving me such a hard time in the past, and we can start afresh. We'll see. Well, you're embarking on a new year, but what would a successful season look like for you in 2023? I'm making it my personal mission to make a success of Connor Sport. And by the end of the season, you're all gonna be saying what a wonderful team we are and how great a season we've had. And if you're doing that, then I'll consider it a job well done. Thank you so much for your time. Great race out there today, just in the highlights. Listen, I know we've had our run-ins and, well, last season was last season. Fresh start for the team. What do you say? Huh, Jackson. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Bin's over there. Yeah. Nice one. How about the season just gone? The 2023 season was completely different for Connor Sport. How so? But, uh, the car, for one. We'd ironed out the most critical issues and it was just starting to live up to its potential. Can we talk about what happened with Devon? Here comes Butler, good pace here down the straight. Into the corner we go, that's a little too late and he nearly goes off the track on the exit. Ant, is that a lapse in concentration? I think just a little bit of desperate driving there, Croft. He's pushing way too hard. I mean, there's nobody else around him at this stage. Okay, Devon, we're gonna have to ease off from the brakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Brakes don't feel right. Okay, we'll have a look at it, but you're gonna see a drop off in performance, I'm afraid. What? Why? We've asked you to take it easy on the last lap, but pushing has made the issue even worse. So we're just going to have to live with it for now. What are you talking about? Listen, just do what you can, please, Devon. Come on.
Okay, you're in the top 10. Gap to your teammate behind is 3.2 seconds. Schedule pit stops, let's go. Four laps remaining. And that's just five laps of fuel remaining. that we're trading the car ahead by 5.5 seconds they're on old mediums gasly behind less than a second separates you they're on fresh mediums our gap to first place is 34.9 seconds pit strategy complete see these tires through to the end now come on just three laps to go three laps
Okay, gap to the car ahead is 6.6 seconds. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Look, this isn't the first time we've seen Devin Butler go rogue, but the question is, what are Connor Sport going to do about it? Well, it's really hard. As we've seen so many times before, Crofty, in the past, it's so hard to control your drivers. In a way, they're their own entity, but on the top of it, they're, they're working for the team, and that's what you want. It's a very hard situation to manage. And working for the team, Kasper Ackerman wanted to make a clean break for this year. This does feel, though, that it's something that they might have had to have dealt with last season. It's really not what they wanted. A repeat of what happened in the past, and you cannot let it go on. Can't continue. They're just damaging the reputation of the team and their own reputation as well. They have to sort it out. I'm sure they'll be having words. So it's all changed here in Australia, and as the teams acclimatise to their new standings, so will we. Now, Devon, you didn't respond to a team order today. In Hungary last season, you said it was a comms issue, but Connor Sport claimed they didn't know what that issue was. So, are they hiding something? What's really going on here? Look, anything I say is going to be taken out of context. So I'd rather not fuel that kind of speculation. I'll debrief the team, and we'll figure out how we can stop it happening again. That's, that's all there is to it. Devon, you finished the race with a compromised car today. What was that like for you? Yeah, it was tough, tough out there. I mean, uh, I love this track. You know, I know I can do well here, and it's frustrating to deal with anything that slows me down. You know, I didn't like it, and the team didn't like it. Now, some have been saying that you do get preferential treatment because your father funds the team. What do you say to those allegations? That always strikes me as really odd, like as if <laughs> the only reason that I'm first on the track is because my dad funds the team. You know, how, how is that an explanation? It's ridiculous. So how do you expect Connor Sport to perform this season based on your performance so far? They got me, haven't they? So, uh, yeah, I expect us to do pretty well. If they can sort out the car this time around, I'll get them all the points their little hearts desire. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, it's a, well, it's a big deal when one of your drivers decides to do their own thing. So I called him out on it at the next team meeting. And what was Devon's reaction? Well, he denied the whole thing. You know, blamed it on a comms fail. Which I thought was strange. The same thing happened the year before when I was principal. And he gave the exact the same excuse.
Yeah? You wanted to see me? Ah, there he is. You're a difficult man to pin down. Right, I'll cut uh, right to the chase, Devon. Tell me what's happening. What are you talking about? Well, it's not just disregarding team orders. Paddock talks. People are saying you've been distracted, that you're ignoring them completely. <laughs> now, my job is to make sure the team works smoothly, like clockwork, so I'm just trying to work out what's going on. I told you, check the comms. Yeah, the comms are fine, Devon. We checked. What's going on? Nothing. Just cut that out. Show me some respect now. I heard the order. All right? You happy? Why ignore it? I'm feeling it, Cass. The pressure, paddock gossip these last couple of months. Oh, come on. You're Devon Butler. You are the paddock gossip. <laughs> You've heard what they're saying, right? You've seen what they're writing. Driving on daddy's money. It's, uh, it's making me second guess myself. Okay. We can work through that. Start changing the the team narrative. Absolutely. But in the meantime, I'd like you to see someone from the medical team. Just to be sure. I've booked you in for this afternoon. No, no, no. Cass, Cass. Look, I I've got a race to prep for, okay? I need my head in the game. I'm fine. I get that. That's fine. But I want you to see them straight after the race. Understood? Yeah. Fine. Piastri just ahead. Push hard, push hard. They're on fresh socks. Sonoda behind. Okay, push, push. Gap to the car behind. 5.8 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Look after these tyres now and want to finish the race on this compound. And that's eight laps to go.
you've got P12. OK, Magnussen ahead. Our gap to the car in front is 2.1 seconds. They're on old mediums. OK, Bottas behind. They're on old mediums. OK, gap to leader, 36.7 seconds. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. and clips the curb. What a mess. Devon Butler, with that move, is out of the race. He won't want to see that too many times. We want to see him out of the car, though. That's good news. Big relief there, although he does still look a bit unsteady on his feet, Crofty. Well, thumbs up to the crowd, but I'd imagine after that, he'll be quite shaken. It was his hearing. He'd been keeping it from us. I think maybe he'd been trying to keep it from himself. I mean, he was at the height of his career. Yeah, what can you say? How did you feel? I, I was devastated. <sighs> but, uh, five years in F1. Can't argue with that. I mean, most people never even get the chance, though. So. And I was still one of the best while I was out there. You ask anyone. How did you feel when Devon left? How did I feel? But if we are going to hit our targets, we need another driver, a permanent one, and fast. But we are mid-season. It's impossible. So given the circumstances, 
Do you think you can grant us a bit of leeway on the contract? I have the projections. If Connorsport doesn't reach fifth place in the constructors this season, the returns simply aren't worth my time. That was always the deal. And it still is. But with a little extra time, perhaps we... Stop! The deal stands. And without Devon driving, there's now little of interest for me beyond the contract. It's just business. There must be something we can do. So, legacy is obviously important to you, Davidoff. As a father, I, I totally get that. So if Devon, your son, can't drive, how about your daughter? Why don't we give the seat to Kelly? No. California will not be signed to Connorsport. Why not? Just... <laughs> just think of the commercial opportunities for the team that signs her, hmm? Forget legacy. <laughs> oh, we'd be... You'd be making history. And you'll be giving a phenomenal talent her first break into F1. It's the right thing to do. Come on, you know she deserves it. The daughter. Who took her mother's name to spite me. Nah, she'll never say yes. Why don't you leave that to me? The contract still stands, Ackerman. Fifth place, or I'm out next season. One problem at a time, eh? Welcome along, everyone, to sunny Spain, specifically to the circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia. So many great moments in Formula One history have been written at this very track over the years, including Michael Schumacher's first win for Ferrari back in 96. That win was in the rain. We might have better weather here today, but we're just as overjoyed to be at the Spanish Grand Prix. It's an updated track at Catalonia, and the popular opinion in the paddock is that we never wanted the chicane in the first place. That's now been gone, the final corner is much faster, and at 2.9 miles and 14 turns, we await the Spanish Grand Prix. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Russell, Norris, Hamilton, Gasly, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Fernando Alonso, Sonoda, Joe, Sargent, Bottas, Magnussen, Ocon, Hulkenberg, De Vries, Jackson, Stroll, Albon, Stroll. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Welcome to the wonderful Catalonia. It's time for the Spanish Grand Prix this weekend. And whilst the season is just a few races old, it's already been one full of drama. So, Natalie Pinkham, who have you got your eye on this weekend? Well, in Formula One, naturally, the conversation is drawn towards those at the top of the standings, both drivers and teams. But I'm really intrigued by the midfield team of Connor Sport. Devon Butler's absence will definitely be felt. There's no doubt about that, both on and off the track. For me, the interesting thing will be how they move forward without him. Indeed, almost as many battles off the track as there are on it for Connor Sport at the moment. And Kasper Ackerman and his team certainly have their work cut out for them this weekend. I know it's been a mad few weeks, mate, but you've always gone well here. So let's get your head down and see what we can do. Come on.
Who's ahead of you? Less than a second separates you. They're on fresh softs. Sergeant behind. Okay, the gap is less than a second. They're on fresh mediums. Your pit window will be open in seven laps time. All right, 16 laps to go.
seven, seventh place. Okay, Sykes is ahead of you. Less than a second separates you. They're on fresh mediums. Norris behind. Okay, they're on old softs. Our gap to first place is 2.5 seconds. The pit window is going to open in three laps time. Pit window opens in three laps. Okay, 12 laps to go. Great pass. We're approaching the pit window and you're going to be on the Gap to the car behind, car behind, 1.4 seconds. They're on old mediums. Okay, gap to leader, 1.7 seconds. Okay, your pit window opens next lap. Okay, we're into the last 10 laps now.
look after these tyres now and we'll finish the race on this compound. separates you. They're on fresh softs. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Okay, seven laps to go. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 25.1 seconds.
us with five laps of fuel remaining, five laps of fuel left. Jackson propping up Connor Sport here today 
But the big news off the track is the speculation about this team and whether or not they'll see out the season with their current lineup. Well, I think they'll have to sign a new driver, Crofty. It's a gamble worth taking. Well, a mid-season signing will get us all talking, I'm sure, but time will tell. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. Well, Cotter Sport are in a bit of an odd situation right now. So, just tell me, what is it like for you today? Uh, yeah. Well, you know, that side of things, that's not really my job. I, I wish Devon well, but uh, it doesn't really matter to me who the other driver is. So, I'm out there to drive the car as best as I can. And that's all there is to it. Everything else is for Casper and the team to worry about. Most importantly, how is Devon? And how are you finding it without your teammate? I honestly never thought I'd say this, but I, I do miss him. He brought a lot of energy to the team, and it feels odd not to have him around right now. For the record, I'm not saying I like him. <laughs> He'd never let me hear the end of it. But he's missed at Connor Sport. That's for sure. Well, there's a lot of talk about what happens if Devon doesn't return. Would Connor Sport be looking for a new driver, do you think? Uh, that sounds like a question for Casper. Um, I know they need to plan for every, every situation, that's just the nature of the sport, but you know, if those discussions are happening, I'm definitely not involved with that. Well, thank you for chatting with us. Great to have your time. Why are you hesitating? You've always dreamt of racing in F1. Not like this. Do you know what he did? Oh, your father? He refused to support me. Said he'd only fund one of his children. Said Devon had better prospects. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know that. Mum used the divorce settlement to help me out, but... And you're only here because he sent you. No. This was my idea. My decision. And this is me asking you, Callie, not your father. We need a replacement and ask for you because I know how good you are. And that's the truth. I always said I'd do it on my terms, not his. I'll look out for you, just like I did in F2. Will you keep him away from me? I'll do everything in my power, everything, to make sure that all you have to think about is driving. Have we got a deal? might never get this opportunity again. You know that. History is made here today as Callie Mayer, Connor Sport's latest signing, becomes the first female driver of the modern era to participate in an F1 race. What a moment. I've got goosebumps. Now, for those of you wondering at home, only a handful of women have entered at least one Grand Prix over the years, but none have even had the opportunity to qualify since 1992. Italy's Giovanna Amati, for those of you wondering. So today is very much a new dawn here in Baku. And Maya was impressive in qualifying, so let's see what the Grand Prix has in store for her. Yeah, I have to say, it is quite a tight-knit pack out there. Fierce competition all round. I really wouldn't want to call this one. Indeed. We've seen some brilliant driving here today, especially from young Callie Mayer. She seems to have made the transition to F1 as if she was born for it. OK, Kelly, really good start. Keep it up. I'm not finished yet. Sixty. 
We've got P16. De Vries just ahead. Let's push for that position. OK, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 1.8 seconds. They're on old mediums. That's Hulkenberg behind. Our gap behind is 1.1 seconds. They're on old mediums. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Nine laps to go. Closing in on her teammates. She's practically on top of me. Aiden, calm down. You're on different strategies. Just let Callie pass. OK, Callie. Aiden's going to let you pass at the next corner. Let's go. Copy. Will Mayer get past her teammate now? Here she comes. But there's contact. Contact between the two Connor Sport drivers. Jackson's out. He gets the worst of it. Mayer's clear. Jackson's damage looks bad. I think you're right, Crofty. His race is over. Maya seemed to catch Jackson unawares, though. I'm not sure why. What was that? Why didn't she wait for me to move over on the exit? OK, Aiden, are you all right? It's just another butler. I thought he was letting me through. Yeah, I know, Callie. I'm sorry about that, but it's happened now. It's over. Let's get your head down and focus. Come on. We'll talk about it later. Copy. is 1.4 seconds. They're on old mediums. Ocon's behind you. OK, so the gap to the car behind is 2.0 seconds. They're on old mediums. Our gap to first place is 32.6 seconds. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. All right, six laps to go now.
top ten. And that's just five laps of fuel remaining. Front is 5.4 seconds. Okay, they're on old hard tyres. Gasly's behind you. Okay, the gap is less than a second. They're on old mediums. The distance to the leader is 25.2 seconds. Look after these tyres now and want to finish the race on this compound. Four laps remaining. Okay, so the gap to the car ahead, 1.6 seconds.
push, push, gap to the car behind, 2.0 seconds. That's P5, you're in P5. Piastri ahead. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 2.1 seconds. Okay, they're on old softs. That's Alonso behind. They're on old mediums. Okay, so gap to the leader is 19.9 seconds. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Two laps left. Next time by will be your final lap. work mate that brings you up a place Okay, here's the gap that we're trading the car ahead by, 9.6 seconds. Okay, car behind trailing us, 2.5 seconds. Okay, we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Well, in spite of the drama amongst those at the top of the standings, so much of the discussion today has centred around Connor Sport. Absolutely, a bittersweet race for them today. One historic debut, one DNF. I mean, you couldn't write it. And talking of that debut, what did you make of Callie Mayer's first ever start? Well, I am so excited to see Callie racing in F1. It is great for the sport. She is a phenomenal talent. I can't wait to see what the season holds and her career as a whole. And if today is anything to go by, the name Callie Mayer is one that we'll be watching with a lot of interest for many years to come. And do you feel extra pressure at Connor Sport? It must be difficult with your dad looking over your shoulder. 
look, it's F1. It's not possible for me to feel any more pressure than I already do. So no, it's not an issue. Kelly, have you felt any pushback from anyone in the F1 world, just with you being the first female driver in the sport? No, everyone's been amazing. And I'm not the first, I'm just the latest. How's your brother? Are you really just keeping his seat warm? Uh, you'd have to ask him that, um, but he is getting the help that he needs. And no, I have no intention of giving up this seat. What happened out there between you and Aiden today? Uh, it's just a mix-up. Um, I, I thought he was letting me through on the entry, but he clearly had other ideas. We spoke to him earlier, and he said it was deliberate on your part. Any comment on that? Uh, it was just a misunderstanding. You've always gone by mayor, and now you're in a team financed by your father, driving in your brother's seat. Would you go back to the butler name? Should have expected it, right? I thought you did. That's not what I mean. I mean, I'm a woman. I get it. I'm happy to talk about it. Then what is it? Well, it's always the same, isn't it? So you're a woman, and then every question about Dad, about Devon, about the butler, name. Just forget about it. Oh, I can never get away from it, can I? The only question about the race was about Aiden. Well, you know, maybe if we'd let it run a little longer, there would have been... Casper? Don't defend them. Sorry, you're right. Sorry. <sighs> Look, it's fine. I'll be faster next time. The incident at Baku, do you think she did it on purpose? She did do it on purpose. Yeah, check the footage. So you didn't warm to her? We weren't the best of friends, no. Okay, we'll have a word. He's been so late into these corners, I have no space out here. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk to him, Kelly. This is still about Baku, isn't it? Right now, less than a second separates you. They're on old mediums. Magnuson's behind. Okay, gap to the car behind. Car behind. 4.2 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Okay, seven laps to go. The gap is less than a second. They're on old mediums. Look after these tyres now and you want to finish the race on this compound. All right, six laps to go now.
11, currently P11. Alonso ahead, less than a second separates you. They're on old mediums. Zhu behind. They're on old mediums. Our gap to first place is 12.3 seconds. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. front is 1.3 seconds. They're on old mediums. Perez is behind you. Okay, they're on old hard tyres. Okay, gap to leader, 7.9 seconds. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now.
another example of the color sport drivers antagonizing each other yeah but you've got to look at ackerman as well he's the one that can sort the situation out so far that he's letting them run wild his job is to keep control and no matter what the season no matter what the driver color sport just can't seem to gel as a team so you've got to ask the question really what will it take well, Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Ali, this is your first ever F1 race at Silverstone in front of the home fans. So just try to put into words what that means to you. Yeah, I mean, just to see the number of fans cheering for me really spurred me on today. And I used to come here as a little girl to watch the races, so it really means everything. It's a dream come true, to be honest. <laughs> Well, I have to say, it was tight out there once again between you and Aiden. You're not giving each other much space, are you? Yeah, um, I've decided I'm not going to focus any more energy on Aiden. If he wants to start working more closely with me, then he can come and talk. But I think all I can do right now is just focus on my own driving. Now, naturally, there has been a lot of speculation about the role of your father, Davidoff Butler, in securing your seat at Connor Sport. Just what do you say to the critics? OK, <laughs> well, um, look at Gasly, Leclerc, Russell, and now everyone's suddenly surprised that an F1 team signed an F2 champion. I'm here because I can drive. People need to get a grip. Well, thank you for chatting with us. Great to have you time. I did not like Aiden. Not at all. Why not? I thought he was immature about what happened in Baku. I'm like, I never really got over it. He was aggressive on track, and the paddock talks. He just wasn't happy at Connor Sport. Thought he was too good for the team. He just had a bit of an attitude problem. It's already complicated, and I've told you they don't need to know. Well, it's your call, of course. But the dishonesty makes me uncomfortable. We'll talk about it later, yes? Let's make this quick. Or maybe we could give Casper a bit of our time. This wasn't scheduled. What, are you too busy for us now? Just tell them, Casper. Andreo, please. Can we get started? Yeah, Aiden's got a meeting at Mercedes he needs to get to. Enough! Enough! Okay? This... This is what we have to talk about. It has to stop. Understand? If we can't pull together now... If we can't pull together... We are finished. Wait, what does that mean? Andreo? It means that if we don't finish fifth or higher, Butler Global will pull funding. And I don't think we'll find an investor to replace him. Not now. Wait, what? Casper? Yeah, it's true. 
Well, then we're finished. Andrea? We're finished. So, yeah. Dad brought me onto the team and then immediately threatened to shut it down. Why would he do that? It's kind of his thing. OK, Kelly, I'm sure you've got questions, but we think we know what we're doing here. We've got information that says more rain's coming, and so, because we're the first ones to come and make this change, we can turn it into an advantage. So on your outlap, let's make it all count. Copy that. Okay to use your overtake button. Okay, gap ahead is 9.9 .9 seconds. will be offline, wait for further updates. That's Gasly ahead, and gap to the car in front is 1.4 seconds. They're on a fresh set of inters. That's Albon behind you. OK, the gap is less than a second. They're on a fresh set of inters. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Nine laps to go. behind by 3.6 seconds. of this rain. Albon behind. OK, the gap is less than a second. They're on a fresh set of inters. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. OK, seven laps to go. OK, the rain should be ending shortly. Be ready for the grip to come back, but don't overheat the tyres. Inters seem to be the fastest tyre for now. And 
And the gap behind us is 2.2 seconds. Second separates you. They're on a fresh set of inters. Alonso behind you now. Okay, the gap is less than a second. They're on a fresh set of inters. Okay, so gap to the leader is 0.3 seconds. Look after these tyres now and then finish the race on this compound. about slicks. Let's hold on to the inters for a little while longer. Okay, you're in ninth. Ninth position. Okay, so the gap to the car ahead 1.2 seconds. Now on old intermediates, that's Alonso behind. Okay, the gap behind is 2.3 seconds. Now on old intermediates, our gap to first place is 12.2 seconds. Look after these tyres now, we want to finish the race on this compound. Come on, just three laps to go, three laps.
DRS has been enabled. DRS is now enabled. Seven seconds. They're on old intermediates. Okay, Bottas behind. They're on old intermediates. Okay, gap to leader, 10.4 seconds. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Two laps left. Next time by will be the final lap. Okay, here's the gap that we're trading the car ahead by. 1.9 seconds. Congratulations, Kelly. You keep going like that, you might just prove me wrong yet. Kelly? Well, we said at the time that it might have been too soon, but in hindsight, Coppersport really did make the right call. May have made the pit stop, changed to wet tyres ahead of everybody else. That was a real turning point in the race. Yeah, you've got to get these decisions right, and not everyone did today. It's great to see Connor Sport taking their chances like that. Wonderful race by Mayer. If they want to improve on last season, they've got to try and do something different. Well, they did that today, they timed it well, and Mayer, well, she continues to impress. Cali, great race. What do you mean, prove you're wrong? I was just trying to congratulate you, that's all. Prove you wrong about what exactly? I didn't mean anything by it. I was just saying, well done. By reminding me how little you actually believe in me. Callie. You are a piece of work. But it was a great race. You said you'd keep him away from me. I'll talk to him. How is he getting involved on comms? Well, he didn't ask, he just did it. Yeah, he'll do whatever he wants until someone stops him. <laughs> I said I'll talk to him. That was a great result out there today. Let's forget about your father, okay? Yeah. Good. Looks like he's found someone else to talk to anyway. Everything else looks fine. It's just about that rear wing. I don't want to sacrifice any more downforce. It's okay, it's your call. Now, let's uh, check the weather again in an hour. Oi, oi! <laughs> Did you miss me? Hello, sis. Hi, bro. Jackson. Devon. How are you, Devon? I am excited. Very excited to be involved again. Now, you, you pretend I'm not here, you carry on, please. Involved? How? Oh, you know, just a little bit of this, a little bit of... Uh... Involved? How? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. 
And what does Andreo say to that? He'll agree, Casper. It's fine. Were they pleased to see you? People are always pleased to see me. And what was your new role? Uh, I guess you might call me a liaison. Yeah, I just, I love to liaise. <laughs> Dad wanted me to talk to people, keep people's spirits up, give some friendly words of advice, that kind of thing. But uh, it was tough. Yeah, Aiden still had that ego. Still thought he was too good for the team. Wouldn't listen to Casper's advice, that was a problem. And then Andreo, he was worried about the future of the team. He had dad breathing down his neck. And Callie, well, let's just say Callie wasn't really looking for my advice. The whole thing was a mess. I mean, honestly, I'd only been gone five minutes. Connor Sport teammates not exactly doing each other any favours this afternoon. For me, they're a little bit too close for comfort. What is Aiden playing at? Tell him to back off. OK, Kelly, he knows. Clearly he doesn't know. <sighs> yeah, same old stuff. Jackson really wants to make a move out there, but may no chance, not letting him pass. Towards the curve of Grande we go. He's going for it. It's really close. It's too close. There goes Mayer's front wing. Oh, Aiden Jackson, what happened there? This now seems like a running theme at Connor Sports. Yes, this race is critical for them. When are they going to just pull themselves together? OK, box please, Kelly. Let's get that wing replaced. This is a joke. Box this lap, please. Box this lap. Yeah, copy. Strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Behind. Our gap behind is 2.4 seconds. They're on old mediums. Look after these tyres now if you want to finish the race on this compound. Alright, six laps to go now.
E30, E30. Okay, Piastri just ahead. Push hard, push hard. Our gap to the car in front is 2.4 seconds. They're on old mediums. Okay, Hulkenberg's behind you now. They're on old mediums. The distance to the leader is 25.6 seconds. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Okay, that's last week. Five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. on this compound. Two laps left. Next time by will be your final lap.
<laughs> was that a good race? Or was that a good race? You tell me. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. So Mayer managed to pull it back in the end. But if this continues, Connor Sport are in real danger of sabotaging their own chances of a decent finish this season. There is so much talent in that team, and yet they're their own worst enemy. The reason they're not making progress is each other. Ridiculous state of affairs. And it's clear that Jackson continues to be the aggressor. Is it personal, Natalie? Well, you know, it does seem that way from the outside looking in, but all I know is they just can't go on like this. Now, once again, another eventful race out there today for Connor Sport, Kelly. Is the team sabotaging its own chance of a decent finish this season? I think that's a fair assessment right now, yeah. Um, it's always tough out there, but if we can't sort out the problems within the team itself, we're going to struggle. Everyone is talking about Devon's return to Connor Sport today, so is it good to have him back around again? <laughs> The thing about Devon is that he has an opinion on everything, and if he doesn't have one, then he'll just make one up. We're not short of opinions at Connor Sport, so I guess I'm worried he's going to be a distraction. Tell us, if you can, about this rumour circulating about a rift between you and your father, Davidoff. I mean, didn't the whole surname thing give it away? You don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to figure that one out. Look. He and I went our separate ways a while back, but motorsport's a pretty small world, and now here we are. But driving an F1 is a dream of mine, and I'm not complaining, I'll do whatever it takes. Now, in the past, you've refused to acknowledge the role of your father in getting your current seat at Connor Sport. Why is that? What I said was I'm here because I deserve to be. I'm here because I can drive, I stand by that. Well, thank you for chatting with us. Great to have your time. Hanging off. Hey. Ooh. <laughs> Scared the life out of me, mate. Ah, I didn't mean to. Picking up any tips? I don't think they like the short straights here. You didn't mind them, did you? <sighs> I love this track. Always do well here. Huh? Well, used to. How are you doing, Devin? Me? Golden, mate. Loving life. Yeah, sure. You know what it's like to leave all this behind, don't you? Yeah, it's the most difficult thing I've ever done. Yeah, well, uh, like that. But, uh, I didn't choose this, Casper. I didn't, um, I didn't. I know. You came back, right? How's it treating you? Ups and downs. Hmm. How's our old teammate doing? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think he's happy here. <laughs> he still thinks he belongs in that top team, see? He's never let it go. That's the problem. You know, I, uh... I could have a word with him. I mean, if you think that might help. It's all a bit dead. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I understand. No, Devon, I mean it. Eh? Scout's on him, mate. Did Casper really want you to talk to Aiden? Eh, I read between the lines. Look, Casper's good at lots of things, but I, uh, I know people. Yeah, I know how to get in their heads. And I wanted to help Dad, help the team, so, uh... Leave me alone. Listen, I'm just saying, mate, if you were such an incredible driver, you wouldn't be a connoisseur, would you? Sorry, it's the truth. No offence. Well, maybe I won't be here next season. <laughs> oh, dude. You know what your problem is? Yeah. You. You think you're better than the team. I remember I remember when Aiden Jackson was just, just happy to be behind the wheel of an F1 car. 
We all like that guy far better than this one. You never liked me. <sighs> no. But Casper did. Once upon a time. Oh, you're different now. You think you're too good for the team. Your head's stuck in some imaginary big three seat in Cloud Cuckoo Land, mate. No, no, no. You have got to drive the car you're in. You're lecturing me about ego. A subject I know well. Oh, right. I get it. So you're allowed to be cocky, but I'm not. Is that it? There's a difference. How can there possibly be a difference? This isn't you. This isn't you, mate. Oh, get lost. Be true to myself. Drive the car I'm in. The wisdom of Devon Butler. Should I be living my best life, too? Just drive the car you're in, mate, yeah? Ciao. Marina Bay hosted a Grand Prix that briefly ran in the 60s and 70s, but the Garden City re-entered the calendar for good in 2008. We missed it for a couple of years, but it was great to come back to the Singapore Grand Prix. The Marina Bay Street Circuit then has 23 corners, 13 to the left and 10 to the right, taking us a total of 3.1 miles around the landmarks of downtown Singapore. An average lap speed around here, just 107 miles per hour. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position. And starting next to them is George Russell. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Verstappen, Leclerc, Norris, Joe, Ocon, Stroll, Mayer, Jackson, De Vries, Magnussen, Sonoda, Gasly, Bottas, Sargent, Hulkenberg, Sargent. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Well, it's a beautiful night here at the Marina Bay Circuit, and as ever, a really enthralling Singapore Grand Prix ahead of us. That's right, Crofty. And while there's not many surprises at the top of the standings right now, there's a lot to watch out for further down the pack. One driver I'll be definitely keeping my eye on is Connor Sports Aidan Jackson. He's been less than consistent so far this season. Aidan, you know what you're doing here. Let's lock in and give it everything. Show us what you got.
pass, make use of the overtake button and see what you can do. separates you. They're on fresh softs. Ocon behind. They're on fresh softs. Okay, gap to leader, 6.8 seconds. Your pit window opens in five laps time. Five laps. seconds. You've got four laps until your pit window opens. 13 laps to go. Less than a second separates you. Okay, they're on old softs. Verstappen behind you now. Okay, push, push. Gap to the car behind. 1.1 seconds. Okay, they're on old softs. 
Okay, so gap to the leader is 7.2 seconds. Your pit window is going to open in three laps time. Pit window opens in three laps. Okay, 12 laps to go. We're approaching the pit window and you're going to be on medium. Okay, you've got P3, P3, well done. It's Hamilton ahead. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 3.8 seconds. Okay, they're on old softs. Okay, Sainz is behind you. Okay, they're on old softs. Our gap to first place is 5.9 seconds. Okay, your pit window opens next lap. Okay, we're into the last 10 laps now.
OK, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track. Second, they're on fresh mediums, and Verstappen's behind. Okay, car behind trailing us, 6.9 seconds. Okay, they're on fresh hards. Okay, gap to leader, 29.6 seconds. That was our last stop, no more scheduled pit stops. Let's go, and that's eight laps to go. Okay, Kelly's in the pits, Kelly's in the pits now. Boxed for mediums. Car behind on the medium tyre now. Tires through to the end now. Okay, seven laps to go. Six seconds.
That's P1. Hamilton behind you now. Okay, gap to the car behind. Car behind. 2.8 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Look after these tyres now. You want to finish the race on this compound. Okay, just five laps until the end. laps of fuel remaining. our teammate by 21.6 seconds.
That's Hamilton behind. We're leading the car behind by 6.3 seconds. They're on old mediums. Pitch strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Two laps left. Next time by will be your final lap. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. Determination shown by some of the drivers out there today, Crofty, was nothing short of incredible. Elbows out, especially from Aidan Jackson. Loved his race today, and he finally delivered the sort of performance that we know that he's capable of. So whatever they're saying to him over at Connor Sport, he seems to be listening to. The faces on our top three look so incredibly happy as they make their way up to the podium. A much-deserved victory and a brilliant performance from them all. Now, Aidan, you have had your ups and downs this season, but tell me, on the whole, are you pleased with your overall performance? Yeah, uh, I'm really happy with what we've achieved. 
you know, F1 gets more and more competitive every single day. So I've really given it all this season. And, you know, today I've been able to do, I've been able to show a little bit more of what we're capable of. OK, I'm going to be cheeky, go straight for the jugular. If you had to choose a teammate between Callie and Devon, who would it be? Um, I'm getting into trouble whatever I say here, aren't I? Can I have Casper back as a teammate instead? I'll talk him out of retirement. Now, Aidan, you have recently hinted that you're not entirely happy at Connor Sport. Tell me, is it true? Um, I think any driver in F1 is always going to be considering their next step. Is there a team I'd be better suited to? Who knows? And a change might do me good, force me to grow as a driver. But there's nothing to report right now. You'll know when I do. There's been wild speculation on whether or not Connor Sport can even be on the grid next season. So can you tell us more? <sighs> it all comes down to the investors, really. I know they can be pretty cutthroat when it comes to these kinds of things, but you know, it wouldn't surprise me if we struggled to find funding. That's great. Thank you. Come on, I just want to check out. Why? Because he told you to. Stop making this about him. Just talk to me. We raced in a lot of the same races growing up, and one of us would always have a better race than the other. So in the car, on the way home, one of us would be happy, and the other would be completely miserable. There was no middle ground. It was like it was impossible for us both to be happy at the same time. And it's kind of been the same ever since. Look, it's my job to talk to the drivers, Kelly. Yeah, and who gave you that job? <laughs> Why are you being like this? It's not even me you're angry with. Maybe it is. Oh, really? This again? We were kids, Kelly. You left me behind. <sighs> Come on, what was I supposed to say? Oh, oh, thanks, Dad, for, for, for continuing to invest in my career, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to decline, just in case I hurt poor Kelly's feet. Of course not. And what? It didn't have to be a choice, Dev. He had the money to fund both of our careers. I just... I wanted you to... fight for me. He never listened to me. He always listened to you. Well, we were young. Yeah. But we're adults now. Yeah. Well, if it's any consolation, I'm not much competition anymore. <laughs> you never were. I'm sorry, Kelly. For everything. You were always faster than me. Yeah, I said it. Nice try. I mean it. And did you mean it? <laughs> of course not. Faster than me. No, 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 no. She was never faster than me. She'd love that. No. But if there's one thing my old man taught me, it's that sometimes people need to hear what they need to hear. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Why are you doing this? I saw him in the paddock. This would have been Sao Paulo. And I, um... Yeah, I finally spoke to him. I just wanted to know why. There's something's come up. I'll, uh, call you back. Cully, so I'm, uh, allowed to talk to you now. Why are you doing this? Doing what? Why are you being so hard line about this? For this to be a worthwhile investment, Connor Sport Racing must be successful. It's just business. It's not, though, is it? Excuse me? Well, why am I on the team if it's just business? Why was Devon? You can't keep involving your family in this and then hiding behind it's just business. This is one of the biggest investments I have ever made. I must take care of the business. Come on. Who do you think will uh, inherit it after I'm gone? Well, Devon, obviously. I'm, I'm not interested in any of it. These uh, matters are complex. They all benefit the business. They all benefit the family. 
And ultimately, they all benefit you. You said this the last time you tried to stop me racing. I didn't buy it at 12, and I certainly don't buy it now. I don't understand what goes on in that head of yours. You threatened to end my F1 career, and then you claim it's for my benefit. Have you any idea how much money I have ploughed into the team? <sighs> yeah, that's the thing with you. Money. Nothing changes. I wouldn't expect you to understand. No, Dad. I wouldn't expect you to. You need to be more realistic, that's all. Not everyone survives in F1. You know that. Fifth in the standings. Fifth. ahead. Okay, here's the gap that we're trading the car ahead by. 1.0 seconds. Okay, they're on old softs. Albon behind. The distance to the leader is 4.0 seconds. Look after these tyres now and want to finish the race on this compound. Okay, seven laps to go. Keep going. OK, 
Okay, gap to the car ahead is 1.5 seconds. Gap to your teammate behind is 1.7 seconds. Okay, that's De Vries ahead. Less than a second separates you. They're on old mediums. Gasly's behind you. Okay, they're on old softs. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Come on, just three laps to go, three laps. And that's De Vries behind. And the gap behind us is 1.1 seconds. They're on old mediums. Look after these tyres now and want to finish the race in this compound. Two laps left. Next time by will be your final lap.
fantastic race that was. Absolutely loved it. But Natalie, do you think we see Connor Sport next season? Rumors say maybe not. I hope so. I feel like they deserve it. They've been box office for me. They've taken chances, they've been bold in all their moves, and ultimately, that's great for us and for the fans. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more, but there's not much of the season left, and they'll be hoping they can carry this form into the final stages. Time will tell. Welcome, then, to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. Wow, Kelly, a really strong performance out there today. Just tell me, though, how big a role did the safety car play? I just think it's never about the safety car, not really. Um, every race has its opportunities, whatever form they take. It always comes back to the driver and whether they can make the most of the situation. Kelly, your first F1 season is nearing an end. It must feel like a long road, but clearly you've put a lot into it. And is there anyone else that's been particularly influential this season? Um, I still really feel for my brother. He was a brilliant driver and I hate that my opportunity came at his expense. But my first season has been amazing and um, I worked hard and I think that's paid off. And tell me, I'm not sure I could do it, but how has it been working so very closely with your family? Yeah, it's been a challenge. Um, let's just say we've all got our own opinions. Uh, Family is never straightforward, and that's especially true of mine. There are rumours circulating that Connor Sport may not be around next season. Can you comment? Um, that sounds like a question for our investors. Um, I'm sure we'd all appreciate a public statement on the matter. Well, thank you for chatting with us. Great to have your time. OK, so we are running two quite different setups out there today. And you don't need me to tell you how it... You don't need me to tell you how it... Davidoff, that's enough. I'm sorry? Get out. What on earth are you talking about? I've had an entire season of you whispering in people's ears. I'm asking you to leave the meeting. You can't be serious. This is not your team. And after today, it might not even exist. So get out and let those of us who actually care about the result do our jobs. We'll talk about this later, Ackerman. You can threaten me after the race. So be it. You coming, Devon? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I might actually stay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna stay. Well, that's up to you. Okay, listen. You all know what's at stake. If we race as individuals today, the team dies. The only way we can survive this, the only way that any of us are coming back next season, is together. We all understand this? No, no. Aiden, Kelly, look at me, you look at me. We understand this, yes? If you put yourself ahead of the team today, it's no more team. Callie, we got this. Yeah. And, um, I'm sorry if I was ever. Wow. What? Are you apologizing? Yeah. <laughs> I will forgive you on one condition. What's that? You get your share of the points. All right. Deal. <laughs> Chin up.
You know, before the race begins, anything is possible. Anything. On the one hand, you have the true icons of the sport, certain drivers, certain teams who set the pace, who you expect to do well. On the other hand, you have the underdogs. And we are always there, always pushing for another place, another point, looking for the smallest opportunity, the tiniest mistake we can punish. And in that moment, just before lights out, it's like, it's like the world holds its breath, you know? Everybody just waits. The air is heavy, you know? And I knew whatever happened, corner sport had made its mark on the history of the sport. Huh. And I was at peace with that. So you weren't nervous? Are you kidding? <laughs> so we know how it stands right now, but just how different might it be when the chequered flag waves here in Abu Dhabi? And it slides out, and away we go! Okay, Aiden, let's see if we can start moving through the field. It's time to push. Come on, you've got this. Copy that. P13, currently in P13. The Astri's ahead of you. Okay, gap ahead is 1.3 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Okay, shoes behind you now. Okay, the gap behind is 1.2 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Our gap to first place is 19.1 seconds. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Okay, 12 laps to go.
now. Keep it up. Down the main straight we go. Here goes Jackson again, moving up the field. What a great race for him. Yeah, it really is so far, Prof. I mean, this is a circuit he really enjoys. Remember the race in 2021 that he put together there? It was fantastic stuff back then. Who could forget it? Connor Sport need a performance just like that today. May is doing okay. Jackson really delivering. Great stuff, Aiden. Come on, I think we can get one more place here. Push, push. Uh, stuff is all right. Assessing, assessing, stand by. I'm losing speed. Heading down the back straight now. He's in a great spot, but hang on, he's slowing. He's slowing. Something is very, very wrong. Yeah, I think he's got a problem here, Crofty. I wonder what it is. Could it be engine related? Look, they're throwing their hands in the air on the pit wall, and he's out. And yeah, that's the engine gone. 2023 is over for Aidan Jackson. It's a dramatic exit, and it wasn't what he was hoping for. Something happened up there. Yeah, engine failure, I'm afraid. Aiden is out of this race. Repeat, Aiden's out of the race. Did you get that? Aiden's out. I heard. What? Let me speak to them. Why? Just give me the headset. Sure about this? I'm sure about everything. That's what concerns me. Kelly. Devin? Yeah, we've had a chat. We think it's best if you uh, don't push the car too hard. Look, you're way back, Cal, OK? We, we don't want to blow your engine, too, so just just cruise it in and finish the race. It's got to be realistic here. Copy. Sorry, is this a team order? No, Casper agrees. It's just not going to make up that much ground. It can't be done. Just cruise it in, Cal. Trust me, you watch her go.
Nice, well done. It's Perez ahead of you. OK, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 1.2 seconds. They're on old mediums. Russell behind. Our gap behind is 2.2 seconds. They're on old mediums. OK, so gap to the leader is 9.6 seconds. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. All right, six laps to go now. gap that we're trading the car ahead by 3.9 seconds Science is ahead of you. OK, gaps of the car ahead is 3.2 seconds. They're on old mediums. That's Hamilton behind. OK, so the gaps of the car behind is 1.7 seconds. They're on old mediums. OK, gap to leader, 7.6 seconds. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Come on, just three laps to go. Three laps. OK, 
okay, we've got four laps of fuel remaining. incredible performance by her today. Connor Sport sure will be very delighted with that one. And if you believe the rumours, Ant, this is a team whose future has been in doubt. Surely, though, they've done enough to return next season. I think they've been wonderful to watch. It was amazing. I'm not sure I've ever seen a race like that. I was wrong about Callie. And how did you feel about the engine failure? There's no such thing as the perfect car. The one that failed us was the same one that got us here in the first place. So, you've just got to drive the car you're in. Well, everyone's an individual, which means that everyone is um, motivated a little differently. Take Devon as an example. He always responds well to having his ego brushed, to being told that he's the best. His greatest fear is failure, so it gives him 
further to fall, keeps him hungry. Callie, on the other hand, uh, has an innate drive to prove people wrong. If someone tells her something's not possible, she'll do everything in her power to achieve it. A sort of uh, stubborn determination that can be harnessed. <laughs> and then there's Aiden. I mean, when he started in F1, people thought he was a nice guy, but he was incredibly ambitious. It's just what makes Aiden tick. Which is why I may have started a rumor or two about uh, interest from other teams during his time at Connor Sport to stoke that ambition. Keep his eyes on the horizon. A lot of people might see that as manipulative, wouldn't you agree? Well, of course. <laughs> Motivation is manipulation. It's the same thing. Is it? Look, the end justifies the means. After all, it's just business. Looking forward to next season? Just let me at it. Will you stay next season? I've told Casper I'll stay if he does. Do you still have a job after your run-in with Davidoff? <laughs> well, we'll see. We did it! We secured the funding! What a team! And that's all that matters. Right now, yes, that's all that matters. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're done? Yeah? Cool.